So the pregnancy had gone very well until Heath and I went in at our 20-week appointment. We had gone in for this joyous trying to find out the sex of the baby and we saw the picture of the giant black thing in the middle that, was, that always caught your eye. The black circle was his bladder that had been overfilled over some period of time due to a blockage in his urinary tract. Our local doctors weren't aware of some of the things they can do. So it was a very sad day. We, we didn't know we had as many options as we did. To think that one teeny weeny little extra flap of skin or a not quite large enough opening in a urethra can wreak so much havoc on, on a baby, on a pregnancy, on internal organs. When a family first learns about the diagnosis of lower urinary tract obstruction, they many times are very confused and obviously have lots and lots and lots of questions. Can something be done before birth to help the baby? Uh, they've usually read things on the internet. They may have gotten some information from the physicians who have referred them. And they really obviously need answers to what's going on and what ultimately can be done to help their fetus. The Center for Fetal Diagnosis and Treatment offers um, unparalleled services for families with lower urinary tract obstruction. It's really our job to tell them not, not only what the diagnosis is, but explain all the different components, all of the changes that occur that result in injury to the kidneys, uh, abnormal growth to the lungs, and try to put it in terms they can understand. And in highly selected circumstances, treat before birth and quite effectively.